Hi, you guys are probably wondering how we got here. So let me take you through what exactly is it that happened. I knew I was gonna go and I was gonna go get my Nahid. I wanted her because she is an Archon and I would like to be able to add my ever growing list Archons and which who I would love to be able to get more and more. Then I needed to be able to get her weapon because I'm a self depreciating whale and I will give my characters the best that I can possibly be able to give. Well, guess what? That all went down the drain when the game decided to give me not one, but two cranes echoing calls before I could be able to get her best in slot weapon, or at least the weapon that gives her the most value. And so me being how I am after I was able to get a thousand floating dreams, I went and I got myself my Shunyun. And then, then, then what wound up happening was is that I got to constellation like two for Gaming and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to keep on wishing. And through this wishing, somehow I ended up with a C6 Shavru, a C2 Nahida, and then a C6 Dami. Yes, it's going to be C6. Yes, I'm going to play the event. Don't at me in the comments. Anyway, what was I saying again? Oh, right. Getting characters. So here is where we stand right now with Nahida. We're at 169 recharge. Hey, we are at a whopping 924 elemental master. At minimum, I think that we need 1000 for her in order to maximize on what she's able to bring as far as potential to team builds and team comps is concerned. At this moment, she is running four piece Gilded Dreams. Every single piece is elemental mastery and has some form of energy recharge on it so overall good stats her weapon is not even fully ascended yet it is only at level 60 and it'll only get better as time goes on and we are able to level that up too as many of you may or may not know I have been devoting myself into domains in which I will destroy my sanity by using my resin in order to get crazy good artifacts. Usually I spend upwards of 500 resin per day to get artifacts for them. Well, guess what? Her artifact, her artifact set has pretty much been taken care of. There's only a couple of pieces that I would want to be able to replace. I would love to be able to get energy recharge and or elemental mastery a little bit more stacked into this but other than that it, she's pretty much got every single thing that i would ever want on her as far as stats are concerned don't think i need too much anymore Honestly, if I could just be able to get the weapon all the way up to level 90, we will be win a win a chicken dinner. Her talents will be taken care of because I've been collecting these teachings of ingenuity for one whole year. Matter of fact, talent priority, we want skill and then her burst. Okay, we're missing these spores. I will get more. Anyway, so books pretty much all exist within the realm of possibility now what does that mean by ascending she's only level 50 and she's only on ascension level 2 which means that i need to do the most insane attack the wild creeper nonsense that i've ever had in my entire life and what does that actually mean Ill. as you guys can be able to see i have already created the ultimate god team in order to take on the quilt creeper this is not a joke this is for real this I am 1000% certain is going to be one of the most annoying battles I've ever had to deal with in my entire life. What's even more impressive about what we're going to be doing here, we will be taking Traveler with us. I'm sorry, not Traveler, Miss Yao Yao. Okay, so why Yao Yao specifically? Well, Yao Yao is going to be a good healer. She is a great Dendro applicator and we need two Dendros in order for us to kill the boss in of itself. We need to apply it with Dendro application, which Nahida could be able to take care of with her E skill, and Yaya could definitely be able to mitigate all of that. On top of that, Raiden could be able to go ahead and activate all of those Dendro cores, exploding them all into a million puffballs. You'll see what I mean by this in a minute. And Zhongli is there for very much comfort. He will be there. He will always be here, my Zhongli. So, goal for today. We're gonna go and hunt down some bosses. We're gonna go ahead and ascend Nahida today. We need to get about 40 of this thing from my recollection of how this is supposed to work. And if all goes well, at the end of everything, we will have enough materials to turn her from level 50 to level 81 at the minimum. Let's not even waste any more time. Let's do this. 
Uh, you know, and the thing about it is, what I don't understand, honestly, is how is it that this thing is so important? All of the Dendro characters, we needed to be able to up, you know, like... I didn't think it would be this destructively powerful. And so, you know, the crazy thing is, is that Nahida's little E does some crazy numbers and it goes and stays on the enemy. I did not think that that would be a thing. Who are you hitting? Who are you hitting? Oh, I don't think her, her skill activates that way. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I think what I'm just gonna go ahead and do any which ways is just whenever it is that it's active, I could just be able to use Nahida's uh, normal attack and I'll just go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and see. Okay, there we go. Better. Terrible. Ah, <sighs> 37 more to go. Oh, we gotta collect a bunch of these things too. Jesus, what? Gotta get out of here so that way the thing can be able to recharge. I mean, honestly, playing as her is actually pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. Like, with the limited amount of... The, man, the limited amount of playtime that I've been able to have with her, she's actually doing really good. She actually does really good damage, even though she's at level 50 at this point. And the C2, I was completely taken aback from. Like, I did not foresee that that was gonna be a thing at all. Now, I think for her talents, though, these fungal spores, I think there's a specific way that you need to be able to get them. So apparently, you cannot attack any of these guys with a Pyro or Electro character. I mean, if that's gonna be the case, I could just put... I mean, legitimately, I could just go ahead, use Zhongli, right? Nobody is gonna be attacking me at all when it comes to that hypostasis. I could just put... Just so that way I don't have to keep on doing this. I could just put Ayato. So basically, we have to be able to go ahead and utilize Ayato. And if that's gonna be the case, though, I'm stuck between him and sing chu i think that we put on him favonia's sword for now yeah i think sing chu is actually a little bit of a better option for now all things considering he would be able to give us a little bit more hydro not as much as uh as ioto would but but he's got the, a little bit more of a healing going on in this particular point and i don't think geo actually does anything to them i've also got into the habit of just picking up everything doesn't matter does not matter could be the most useless thing ever in the history of ever taking it all absolutely Absolutely not. So yeah, we have a couple of characters that we need to go ahead and build from the ground up. Right now, I was lucky about the fact that I was able to get not one, but two different sets for Nahida when it comes to her best in slots. So I'm, I'm like, I'm not hurting for artifacts that I'd be able to put on, which is great. Fact still remains though. Fact still remains, we're going to have a lot of farming to be able to do when it comes to a lot of these characters. Okay, right in, I can be able to use on you. Woohoo! Now, I think it has been recharged. It only takes about two minutes. I mean, not for nothing, we kind of got ourselves a little bit of a Hyper Bloom team going on here. Like, against any other enemy, this would have been golden. Oh, no! Ooh! But I told myself I'm not going after three-line starts anymore, so... 35 more to go. It's gonna be a little bit torturous, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the crazy thing is, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't even know if I'm going to release this video. I'm going to be totally honest with you right here. Because realistically speaking, this is just me farming stuff. Like, I'm not even getting any RNG artifacts. But I did say that this I am going to document on what it is that I did this year. This is one of those characters that I've been waiting for for a little bit. Oh, no. The fact that it came with Shenyun and the other characters that, they, that are being featured, I already got all, <laughs> all this time. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Boom! Yeah, this team is pretty much uh, a, a busted deal. I did not think that farming these things would actually take so much time. So basically what I'm doing is that I'm hunting down two groups of these guys, and then I'm going straight back over to the boss. It only takes about a couple of minutes to let the boss recharge. So I figured while I'm doing this, might as well go ahead and collect the spores that I'm gonna need. And I'm hoping that I'm doing this right. Yep, so all this will be upgraded as soon as I get her to her other ascension. Luminous and Paul. I think that I'm gonna need a lot more of these guys than I thought that I would. Oh, this is gonna take a while. I mean, at least I got the more for it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This team is actually pretty busted. With the amount of energy recharge that we've been able to get, the elemental mastery that goes into everything. Oh, Raiden being an absolute monster in these situations. Okay. I mean, the fact that we're funneling 
so much right now. We're funneling so much energy from everywhere. It's not even fun. What's even crazier about it is that Zhang Li could be able to go ahead and protect. Nikita goes and applies the Dendro. Xing Shu is applying not only just healing, but actual hydro to whatever it is you're fighting. And then Raiden could just be able to recharge everybody willy nilly. It's disgusting. I think the boss has recharged. Yeah, there was no way I was gonna miss my my me wanting to be able to pull for this character. Been wanting to be able to do this for quite a while now. I should have pre-farmed for her. There was a lot of things I should have done before this year actually happened. And yeah, here we are. Oh, I turned that. I, I timed that poorly. Ah, oh, we one shot it. Woo hey, we're getting there. Okay, so we we need 32 more. With the amount of resin that we have left, right, we have 400 resin at minimum. 400 resin divided by 40 is about 10. 10 rounds we could be able to go ahead and fight, right? Times that by two at minimum that we would be able to get this thing. We would only be able to get 20. Ooh, this might take a while. Yeah. Fast forward. One hour later. <sighs> okay. Okay. 40 resin left. We have done all the things. We can do this. One last time for all the marbles. Let's go. I don't know why I'm out of breath. I didn't actually do anything. So a couple of takeaways when uh, playing with Hida. I noticed that a lot of her teams are really sent around her E skill being able to activate pretty much for the majority of battles. That's all you're going to be pretty much doing. So it's a lot of quick swap stuff that you want to be able to do. Kind of puts in perspective of what kind of units you actually want to be utilizing when it comes to her team. And you really want to be able to commit at least something else other than her dendro application. Although she does a lot of good damage that really kind of don't want to be able to. That being said, I think that she is now fully built and done, I think. Oh no, we need 10 more. Damn. So about 520 resin, we were able to get about... With 520 resin, we were able to assess send her a couple of times or at least i think one time looking back at the video i'm pretty sure we ascended her twice in the video we were able to get the her second ascension and then her third ascension pretty much all done right now we are working on the fourth ascension which is pretty much clear except for me having to get more luminescent pollens and i also need to get a lot more lotuses we are also i want to say we're about 10 quelled creepers away from being able to get the full 40 we're gonna need to go into her final ascensions once we level her up and then we have enough emerald chunks to be able to take her all the way i'm pretty sure even way past what she needed to be at this point we 1000 percent also have enough books to get her through all of pretty much all of her talents most of the stuff that we're gonna need i could probably get on sunday but yeah we pretty much were able to build her entire build i think the only reason why we were able to do this is because we did not need to farm for as many books as we needed to as most people would need to i've been collecting these for the past year or two when i'm playing with getting the battle passes or getting certain events there's always those things where i'm getting these particular books for her and i'm kind of wondering when it comes to her talents how many uh, how many times i'm gonna have to be able to fight bosses now that we have the battle pass now that we have the battle pass we have incentives to go ahead and fight bosses so i may actually do some domains while i'm here doing what i need to be able to do there's a couple of characters who i need to make sure there's a couple of characters who i need to go into their talents to be able to see how many i'm gonna need as far as boss material are concerned i'm also looking for a lot of dream solvents because as you can be able to see there's a lot of characters who i'm interested in being able to raise to their final ascension at some point though we're gonna have to get back to yao yao and to kujo sara now the reason why yao yao well it's fairly simple she is the only dendro applicator that i have that's an actual healer and we can actually get more constellations for her whenever it is that we do wish on carrot so i'm kind of looking forward to to, uh, finally ascending her to where she needs to be and realistically speaking i think the best thing for us to do in this particular case we can probably go after more quelled creepers while we go along i can save the emerald gemstones that i saved up for her and i can be able to utilize them on Hita. and then all i have to be able to do is just keep on leveling her up and just keep on getting these gemstones i'm gonna need her final 20 anyways so might as well try and get that done either tomorrow 
or even like honestly tomorrow is probably gonna be more quelled creeper stuff like honestly to tell you the truth and it's gonna be a lot more exploration because i'm gonna need a lot of jillian chilies as for kudosara realistically speaking i think that getting into somebody else's world to help me with the uh dendro dendrobiums these are gonna be uh very important and i'm gonna have to do a lot of world exploration when it comes to most of this stuff and honestly if i could be able to get into more of the clear water jades if i could be able to find these more i think that we'd be rocking and we could be able to pre-farm for showing i think i also need to get damnings and stuff as well oh no star star conscious I, i've been collecting for a while now so i think that we're good there it's just boss materials for him pretty much and then his talents i'm not exactly too sure what his talents would be at this point but i'm pretty sure i can be able to look that up right now uh so he's gonna be philosophies of prosperity which i'm pretty sure i could be able to get very very quickly if i could be able to do some puzzling and obviously the only other thing that we're probably gonna <laughs> we're gonna probably need if we're gonna need some more bells for uh Shavru. so we got a couple of characters we need to work on for pretty much for the most part pretty much five characters that we need to be able to work on uh six if you really count nahida although nahida and yao yao should be done by tomorrow if if not if nothing else if nothing else if we really really need to be able to push it we could probably push it for a third day well i highly doubt we're gonna probably push it to the third day i'll probably do some shenanigans where i will get some more stardust in the next coming weeks because i do need to get a couple of more weapons from the weapons banner i'm not gonna lie a lot of those four stars are a little bit poggy woggy if you have to do so myself and we can be able to go ahead and convert some of our crystals that we've been saving from other events and we can be able to convert them through there getting a lot of dendro is probably going to be priority number one for tomorrow and then priority number two will definitely be either kudosara or i'll just start working on gaming and shiver i know shinyun i do want to save for some time later down the line and the only reason why i'm doing Doing it this way i like i really want to be able to stress i've already gotten most of their art if there's artifacts that need to be had it will be done in a later time the only thing that i would like to be able to do is i want to be able to dedicate an entire week to not only her build but being able to farm out a lot of her resin stuff when it comes to not only her boss materials but also her talent which are going to be much more important we already got her best in slot we can be able to go ahead and figure out how i'm gonna get a crap ton of these things but i've already gotten a crap ton of these things so i'm pretty much good there but yeah pretty much we've gotten everything that we need in order to make these characters a lot more alive in the coming weeks and i kind of can't wait to be able to show you guys exactly what we got going into the spiral abyss first things first though i do want to be able to go ahead and build her she's going to be priority number one. Second priority for tomorrow will be yao yao and i think we are going to have a bunch of teams that are going to be very very well built going into the abyss honestly if i could kind of do a couple of things different it would probably be investing a little bit more into a bunch of my dendro units back but it is what it is i don't mind being able to sit here and being able to go in for characters that are pretty much going to be featured on banners any which ways maybe that's something that i might want to be able to do might might be something i want to be able to look out for while i'm looking out for my archon all i know is that I'm super happy I was able to get Nahida C2. I'm super happy that I'm able to get her best in slot weapon. And I'm pretty happy about the fact that I was able to get her her second best artifact set behind Deepwood Memories. I have to find where Deepwood is actually hidden. I think it's hidden on Yao Yao. Yeah, it's pretty much hidden on Yao Yao. I'm kind of wondering if I may want to be able to switch off these pieces. Nah, pretty much not. Nah, I think, uh, I think what we have right here is actually going to benefit her a lot more it gives her a crap ton of elemental mastery once we raise her weapon all the way to its final ascension we should be good on that as well and i think once we get her into ascension six we should be sitting at a good pretty 1000 plus elemental mastery which is great for her considering her team comps well what do you guys think you think i'm building her wrong let me know in the comments down below also don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with the content so far and as always i will see you all in the next nightmare
Take care.